Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, today is still Tuesday. It is the 18th of October, 2022. Uh, it's weird, like right now it's still lightly snowing. You can kind of see it on film here. Uh, nothing is sticking to the ground because it's not that cold as far as the ground goes yet. Uh, we weren't even supposed to have any rain today at all in the forecast originally. So, not sure what happened there, but uh, it is definitely, obviously, as you can see, overcast. Uh, that kind of day, what are you going to do? So, I've had a pretty low-key day. Uh, me and Steve have just kind of been hanging out. And uh, so, <laughs> I took another nap, I'll be honest with you. I haven't really done anything today. Uh, I did call. I had to... Uh, been making a couple of phone calls on things and actually I was going to tell you what it was but I'm not going to tell you yet because it's not uh, something that I'm going to share yet but you'll see but anyway uh, yeah so just kind of dealing with this weather and uh, you know it's good and the funny thing is it's like it's two days of cold and then it warms up again I mean, obviously, it's still only October, and so, you know, what are you going to do? But uh, it actually, one of the things that I was looking at, I was going to show you this real quick, um, that I need I need to take care of. Uh, and uh, Ronnie had, uh, we're walking here, and I'll kind of explain a little bit. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. I'm going to open this up for a moment. Yeah, you can see. Okay. Right through the bottom of here was kind of a crack of light. Up through the corners on these, I got to come in here with uh, the spray foam. And where is that can? Here we go. All right. All right. Cracks and gaps, right? And I need to hit all those spots. Now, that being said, what is the temperature in the battery room? We are at right around 50 degrees right now in here so not horrible okay especially on a day when it is in the 30s outside but i need to make sure that i'm buttoning up this room and so uh, i'm actually going to cover those vents and i'll probably do that from the outside uh, i'll put some like plastic or something uh, like a plastic garbage bag with duct tape around the outside of those for the winter and uh, I will hit so all these gaps um, on the inside I'll go I'll do it from the inside on both sides I'm gonna need to hit those and uh, get that squared away tighten that up in there uh, this is a nice little like I said reminder that there are little projects that need to be buttoned up and taken care of uh, before we really get into some cold weather. Obviously, one of the things that needs to be done and buttoned up before the winter, I need to skirt this camper. So, uh, it uh, it's a definitely uh, a priority to get that squared away. So, I'm going to see what I can do about that and how quickly I can get that done. I'm not sure if it's going to happen this way. Obviously, it's not going to happen over the next couple of days. But... Uh, we will see, but uh, I do have to get this skirted in and get that part squared away. So I got to see what I can do as far as that goes. I have an idea of what I want to do, um, how I want to do it, but uh, I definitely got to get this taken care of so that uh, I am ready <laughs> for for the colder weather. Uh, it's not going to be, like I said, it's, it's going to be chilly, um, you know. Uh, I have, like, you know, the thing is with a camper, uh, I'm very, very fortunate to have it. I have all the amenities that I need in there, you know, and that type of thing. So, yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really been very, very fortunate uh, in that case. So, God, the colors are beautiful, though. I will tell you that. Just looking at everything, uh, colors are definitely have changed really, really rapidly as far as the trees go. And, uh, but, so one of the other things, obviously, that we're going to have to be doing here really, really shortly, uh, actually, this is going to happen this week, I think it's going to happen before 
Uh, you know, I mean, the battery room, it's not going to take me that long to do that in there. But uh, Steve's, Steve and the Big Blue, you know, Eric's Big Blue House, uh, we got the insulation. And uh, so, you know, again, we, him and I were talking today, and he's like, I don't want to pull everything out in this cold weather and work in the cold weather. And we know that today's going to be cold, tomorrow's going to be cold, and then it's going to warm up after that. So... Those are probably the next three things that we're going to be focusing on and uh, trying to get squared away uh, before we really get into some extreme weather. Uh, I will also continue to work uh, in the bunker. Uh, the bunker videos will be posting on Thursdays. They will be 3 o'clock Thursday videos. So if you are interested... Uh, and continuing to watch that progress. Uh, I did put together, finally, a playlist. And so they are on a playlist now, so you can watch the first three episodes. Uh, each week I will be updating that once a week so that you guys can see the progress that we are making um, on that project. And I think it's, like, like I said, right now, uh, the work that's being done, it's not pretty. It's not uh, exciting <laughs> because we're still digging down. Uh, once we start to go in, I think that's when it'll start to really kind of take place and people will see, you know, what we're doing, what we got going on, and, and those type of things. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Um, like I said, this has been uh, kind of a low-key day. Uh, actually, it stopped with it right now with the with the snow and everything but uh yeah i mean nothing is sticking and it's not gonna stick and i was told i've and i've talked to a lot of the locals down here because i you know this is going to be my first season down here uh for winter because uh, you know obviously i just bought the place last year and last november we brought the camper down and got that in here and then uh you know we uh i wintered in new york but this year I will be wintering here, and so we'll see how things go. But generally, what I'm being told is uh, ice storms are probably more prevalent down here. Uh, it's the most prevalent thing that we've had to deal with down here. But uh, when it snows, when it does snow, it's generally on the ground for maybe a day or two, and then it melts off. So we'll see. I mean, you know what? I'm going to have to see how it all plays out. I don't know how it's going to be. I'm just going to play it by ear, and uh, we'll see how it all works out. Uh, I'm just going to try to continue to take care of what I can take care of in the meantime, and when winter gets here, we'll deal with those issues at that point in time. So, anyway, kind of low-key day, guys. Uh, I'm just going to put this video up for you, trying to give you an update, uh, kind of share where my thoughts are right now and uh, try to get things squared away and ready but protecting those batteries is going to be obviously a huge part of that there the battery room is very very insulated which helps but right now there's still too many nooks and crannies where the heat is escaping uh, the batteries will kick off heat as well which is a good thing uh, you know and uh, the charge controller inverter also kicks off heat so it is definitely uh you know a good thing that way as well so uh but keeping those batteries viable and keeping them protected so that they don't freeze is a huge part of what we got to you know, do here. So um, I think that, number one, is going to be the number one priority is getting those uh, nooks and crannies filled up. Uh, I have to look at the can and see if I can do it in the colder weather. I don't know for sure. I may have to wait a couple days and then do it. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to just look and see um, what it says on the can. It's just like with uh, concrete. Concrete will not set up at below 50 degrees. So you've got to have it warm enough uh, for the concrete to work. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. And you can see Hella's just having a terrible time of it. Horrible for her, poor baby. She's chewing up on a bone. Uh, remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. We have to stop letting them divide us. They continue to divide us, and we continue to play to that sucker role, uh, and they love that. That's what they want. So let's not let them have that, okay? Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. 
Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD. Step thing and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goal is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. I just was watching her chewing up on that bone. Uh, hang in there, folks. Uh, we'll continue to get progress done here, and uh, we'll just we'll. It'll be an interesting winter. That's all I can say. All right. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One out for now. Girly girl. Girly girl. You ready?